This is a Linson 480 Vario Top AC. It's a Dutch built steel cruiser. It's absolutely fantastic. And the really great thing about this is the Vario Top, which I'm going to demonstrate to you. But the whole boat is well worth seeing. They're beautifully built. It's worth noting that this particular example is two years old and done 350 engine hours. So it's had some use and yet it's absolutely like brand new, which I think is testimony to the quality. So we're going to head inside first of all, so I'm not quite doing so much battle with the PA system. There's a speaker right there that will stop hopefully in a minute, but it does tend to keep going on. So we won't stop and wait. There's access there down to a bathing platform. I'll show you that just quickly from over here so we've got that on the back of the boat like so but these are really for sort of offshore and also inland use it's quite a serious boat so it's all steel construction what you've got then is you've got the cockpit back here of course all this will come off if you want it to or you can just roll sections up as we've got at the minute and then there's just a single helm position here and this is genius because if we come into here you can see it's all nice and cosy and closed up and all wonderful. You've got the twin helm here. You've got a nice seat here for people to sit alongside the helm. And then very much, you know, little ship feel with this big vertical wheel. And you've got obviously the uh, multifunction displays and the engine controls. Big bow and stern thrusters on here. Uh, the boat weighs 25 ton, I think I'm right in saying. So these are 75 horsepower each. I've had less powerful main engines on boats before. But this is what I want to show you, the Vario Top. So if I push this button here to light it up, and then this button here, watch this. There we go. That is a proper power roof. And I've been saying for years, why does nobody do this? Linson have in fact been doing this for years. They've been doing these Vario Tops for a long time, but they're the only people I know that do. And they're brilliant. Every time I'm fighting the canopies on and off my boat, I say, somebody needs to build a power roof like you have on a car. Well, there it is. And it's properly open. It's not just a sliding sunroof. It's properly open. And in fact, there are buttons down here on this seat where are we? Over here. If I push the up button, you'll see this whole seat will then rise up if you want it to. Here we go. And that means you can sit here and your view is out over the top. So you get the wind in your hair or you can drop it down. Hang on, let's find the right button again. Here we go. And you can bring it down like this and you've obviously then got the shelter of the windscreens. It's absolutely fantastic. That on its own is worth the price of entry. It's brilliant. There we go. Big serious wipers on here. It's a big serious boat, this one actually. Autopilot controls over here. There's the autopilot itself. VHF radio, all the usual bits and pieces. Anyway, let's head on downstairs and I will show you what's going on down here. Now again, I remind you this boat is two years old and an owner's boat and had some pretty decent use because it looks absolutely brand new. It's fantastic. There's a lot of customization available with these. So you can alter the layout quite a bit. You can have half cabin or you can have half cockpit. This is what this owner has chosen. We've got TV back here. We've got this lovely little snug tucked away here. And then this dining area here. So, of course, where you'd sit if you want to watch television is over here. Control system, again, matching the one at the helm down here. We've got the galley area up here on this main deck. We've got, obviously, the full cooking. Big hob over here. This one, in case you wonder why it's got two ovens, is, in fact, a dishwasher. And then a lot of storage dotted about the place. These tend to be bought by people who want to do some serious cruising, the sort of thing you buy when you retire and you say, right, we're going to head off now. <laughs> we'll see you in five years' time. It's that sort of boat. Big, chunky rail down the centre here to hold on to if you're out at sea. And the boat's roaring around a little bit. If we come down then forward, 
And this is testimony to the sort of liverboard nature of this, is things like, if we open this one, that is all shower there. So it's a proper, like you'd have at home, a proper domestic type of shower. You're not sort of, you know, <laughs> standing bow legged over the toilet to have a shower. It's a separate thing. And in fact, the reason this is here is because that's where the washing machine lives. And storage underneath it. So you've got that there. And then the toilet, of course, is completely separate in here. And again, really good size. Got the heated towel rail in there. It's got the um, hatch up above, which you can open or you can pull blinds across there. Very, very nice. And also the guest cabins are at this end. So if we go forward to the VIP guest cabin, very nice size. Again, beautifully finished. The woodwork on these is exemplary. <laughs> That's a good word, isn't it? There we go. These are hanging lockers in here. All storage all the way around here. A little more hanging over here. And this door allows that to be en suite at night. And then on this side, so this is the side with the toilet and the shower, but this side there is a very nice third cabin, so second guest cabin, because there's an owner's cabin right at the back of the boat. And again, a lot of storage about the place and all the way around here. Very nice indeed, very nice. There we go. Let's head on back. So we'll come back up to the main deck and this time, this is the steps we came down from the helm position. Uh, again, a ton more storage down here. And then down in this passageway, they're using this for things like the wine cooler and a load of extra storage about the place. I won't open it all, but just to give you an idea, there is stacks of it. As I say, for a sort of liveaboard situation where you might want to go away and spend some serious time aboard, these are brilliant. And we come right back here. This is the owner's cabin. So full beam with the boat. Of course, it's underneath that aft deck where we came on. The bathing platform was sort of behind there. And again, it's a real home from home situation. Tons of drawers, lockers, more drawers over on this side. You've got your dressing table here. You've got your TV built in. And then if you come right around here, this has got its own private ensuite, of course, with, again, Sort of full-size domestic shower really isn't it just brilliant absolutely brilliant love these it's not your sort of high performance machine at all in fact we'll go and look at the engines in a second and i'll explain that it's the sort of thing where you take your time and you just relax into your boating how wonderful would that be fantastic if you retired okay if we come up here there is The engine room let's go down into there there we go all very nicely plumbed and wired and so forth very typically lintz and that's the generator outboard on that side heating is over there i think i'm right in saying or maybe it's air conditioning it's probably heating and then twin engines as you can see with conventional shaft drive you can see the shafts going out of the back of the engine one on that side a bit harder to see that there's one over there as well and then you've got the battery bank over here as well with the inverters and so forth so it's very very well set up for living aboard and again two years old 350 hours looks like new now these are say the d3 110s so 110 horsepower each they're giving the boat about nine and a half knots it's very much a displacement boat I say it is a steel cruiser all 25 ton of it and um cruising is about seven and a half knots but your range at that sort of speed then is about 750 miles so very much plays into that sort of long distance, spending some serious time on board. It's not the sort of thing you keep in the med and blast off down to a cove 20 miles away and anchor up for a day and then blast back. It's for covering ground, this one. It's beautiful, isn't it? Okay, let's come out of here. The last thing to do is the decks. But I thought since we were literally walking right past that, that was probably the best time to do that. Let's drop that one down carefully. There we go. Let's take a stroll around the decks.
there we go so big wide side decks and nice high rails as well you do feel like you're in the boat but this look at this isn't that brilliant why is nobody else doing that i love that they've come right down here look there's big windows on it again it's that sort of liverboard nature rather than sort of portholes in the hull it's big almost like a domestic sort of situation isn't it which it kind of would be if you're living on it we've got the mast up here on the Ford deck, so that's things like radar, TV antenna, um, anometer, anemometer, <laughs> I never get that right, wind speed indicator, PA horn on here, the horns, all that kind of stuff is all mounted on there. Again, you can see that folding roof from here. And if you come right up to the bow, you've got your anchor winch, cleats, all that kind of stuff. That's fantastic. So there we go. Massive thanks to Boat Showrooms for organising that tour. That's been absolutely brilliant. Let me know what you think of that one, especially that roof. And huge thanks as ever to you guys for watching. We will catch you on one of these real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.